Hello and welcome back. We have a day full of amazing chefs, foods, demo, and especially some cocktails. So you want to stay tuned for that. So make sure to use, please, please, hashtag Oktoberfest 2020. Share your food, share your demos, share your cooks, and even bring a friend. The next chef coming up, I'm super excited. I've had many a brunch, many a dinner, and probably every meal in between. One of my favorite chefs in Atlanta, Chef Deborah Von Trees of Twisted Soul <laughs> Cookhouse and Pours. How you doing, Chef? I'm good. How are you? I am excellent. I don't know what you have going on right now, but I already smell something delicious it's in the air. It's going to be good. What do you have going on today, Chef? And I also heard, heard it through the grapevine, you have a cookbook coming up. So give me both. OK, who told? Who told? Little birdie. <laughs> little birdie. I can't tell. All right, tell. so today we're going to do a smoked duck Dutch baby, a little bit of a brunch item. Um, you know, just want to do something that brought the family together. And I've got my daughter here with me. She's going to do a cocktail. It's going to be great. On that cookbook, mm -hmm. yes, I do have a cookbook coming out. I'm very excited. It's my first book. Been working on it for three years. Congrats, um, Chef. It is called The Twisted Soul Cookbook. And um, it is recipes, modern recipes oh. from a well-traveled chef. Yeah, so I've got all kind of cool things in there. I think people will really, really enjoy it. I love it, Chef. I'm excited for the cookbook. I'm excited for this right here. So, oh baby, for the Dutch baby, I will leave you to it. I haven't had breakfast yet, so the sooner Perfect. you cook, the sooner I eat. So Perfect. I'll get back to you guys soon, and I will check back in shortly. All right. Be back. Happy Oktoberfest, everybody. Now, this is going to be so much fun. I, I promise you, it'll be so much fun. So, this mm -hmm. duck baby, that Dutch baby we're going to do, the smoked duck, is actually going to be able to use for two things. One, we're gonna put it in the Dutch Baby. Two, you're going to learn how you can keep it a little bit longer and use it as a prosciutto and add it to your charcuterie plates, all righty? So we're gonna start out with a raw duck breast. I've got a whole breast. I'm going to get a paper towel and we're going to pat this duck dry. Now, so we've rinsed the duck under cold water. We're gonna pat it dry. Put this on the cutting board. I'm gonna split that baby in half. And then I've made a cure. In my cure, there's salt, brown sugar, a curing salt, cayenne, smoked paprika. I've got that all mixed up. I've got this shallow pan just big enough to fit these two breasts. So I'm gonna put a layer of the cure down. Pat it in there real good. And then we're gonna take these duck breasts, skin side up, lay them on top. And then we're gonna pack it with a little bit more of the cure. So this part here actually takes a little while. It's like a 24 hour refrigeration thing that we would do next. So once it's packed, you're gonna cover this up with plastic wrap, Put it in your refrigerator, let it sit for about 24 hours, and it'll have this nice, nice cure on it and give it a little bit of flavor. Now, from the magic of TV, <laughs> we've got some that we've cured already. So these have been sitting for 24 hours, taking them out, we rinse all the cure off, pat dry again. Make sure you pat it real dry. And then we've got our egg ready. Our heat's on about 225, 250. Keep it really, really low. And we're gonna smoke these duck breasts. We've got some applewood chips on here to add a little bit of extra smoke. Gonna put that on there. Ooh, hear that sizzle. And the smoke smells wonderful, smells like fall. Put that down. And we're gonna let that play on there for maybe 15 or so minutes, depending upon how much smoke you really want to infuse into the actual duck itself. I've got some more duck from the magic of TV that has already been smoked. I've wrapped it after I smoke it, which you're gonna see that technique also, where I've wrapped it in cheesecloth and actually placed this in my refrigerator. So it's been in the refrigerator for about a week and it's like nice cure it's got great flavor if I wanted to I could leave it into the refrigerator a little bit longer 
or if you have a cellar, you know, or a basement or someplace with an optimum temperature of 60 degrees or so, it's even better than the refrigerator. So you could tie this in the cheesecloth and leave it right there. Some people leave it for up to three weeks or so. So we've got some of this sliced. Get back to that in a minute. In the meantime, over here, I've got this nice cast iron skillet going. So I'm going to grab some butter. I'm going to put it on there so that it can start melting. So I've got four tablespoons of butter. I'm just going to close that down, let that continue to heat up, and let that continue to melt. I've got eggs, flour, and a whole bunch of seasonings. A little bit of milk. And grab a pan to mix this in. Now don't think I forgot about this duck because we're going to use all that duck in this Dutch baby. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and let's get the base of the Dutch baby on the oven, in the oven. So I've got flour, I've got eggs. So I've got six eggs and the spices that I'm gonna use are Creole seasoning, a granulated garlic, granulated onion, some herbs de Provence, cracked black pepper, kosher salt, all these amazing things because we want to make sure that Dutch baby has a lot of flavor all right I've got a cup of milk here I'm gonna pour that in I'm gonna whisk all this together really really well so pretty much all we're doing is making like a pancake batter So I've got this nice, smooth batter. My butter is all melted. I'm gonna just take this and whisk the butter. I'm gonna add a little bit of duck fat. And then I'm gonna pour my batter right in the hot skillet. Close up that egg. This egg is on about 400 degrees. And I'm going to let that thing do its business. Now let's finish cutting this. So once we get this all sliced, we're going to fry this up like bacon. Now let's take a look at the duck that we put in earlier. So the duck's been smoking. It's enough smoke on there for me. I'm going to sit that there. And then we're going to take some cheesecloth. Cut just enough to wrap this duck in. If you have to cut it a second time, that's fine. It's not a big deal. We're gonna make what I call a duck diaper. <laughs> Take the duck, wrap it up. I'm gonna do another layer because I wanna cover that up really, really well. Wrap it up, and then we're going to use some good old butcher's twine. And tie this duck breast up into a little bundle. I believe about four inch of hang on this bundle. Tie just a little knot at the end. And 
and then we would take the bundle and you're going to find a hook of some sort in the back of your refrigerator and just hang the bundle in the back of the refrigerator and leave it alone. <laughs> leave it alone for about seven days. You'll touch it maybe every three days or so and you'll feel it getting hard and you'll also realize that the, the breast is actually shrinking. So that means the cure is working. It's doing what it just, you're wanting it to do. Okay, let's do it one more time with the other breast, in case you missed it the first time. Duck diaper. Make your little bundle, do a second layer. And tie it up. So while I'm finishing this, we should probably get those pears on so we can make that cocktail. So allow me to introduce you to my beautiful daughter, Miss Kirsten Berry. Hi everyone, how are you, how are you? <laughs> okay, cool. So Kirsten will tell you more about how she got the pears prepped for me. Okay, um, so today we're gonna be making a lovely fall pear bellini. Um, it's gonna have some rosemary flavors, some ginger and some vanilla as well. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is smoke these pears um, and then we're gonna work on making a pear syrup. So to do the pear syrup, you're gonna just need about three pears just from your regular grocery store and you're gonna peel them. Um, then you're gonna need a small saucepan and just a little bit of a dry white wine. Any local like grocery store Pinot Grigio would work. Um, and you're gonna combine that about half a cup of granulated sugar um, and a inch of ginger peel and diced up and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You're gonna pour all of those lovely ingredients into that saucepan and get it cooking on a nice little low simmer um, just so that they have a chance to kind of fuse and combine and we can really bring out all of those flavors. You're going to Pull um, your pears out of that saucepan after they've been on there for about 15 or 20 minutes or so, and you're gonna place them off to the side so they can cool. Um, we have these pears in this lovely green egg now that have already kind of experienced those process, and now we are smoking those um, so that we can later on incorporate the smoky flavor back into that syrup. Cool. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, so. We're gonna do, move on to the next step for the smoked Dutch baby. And that's our uh, vegetables. Don't worry, Kirsten will be back with the cocktails. All right, so the ingredients that I chose today for this particular Dutch baby to go with the smoked duck, it's the duck, tomatoes, red peppers, red onions, arugula and goat cheese. I had a million different combinations in my head, but I thought, let me just calm down just one moment. And we take it real slow. So I'm gonna put my uh, duck that's been smoked on a pan just to render some of the fat from it. And we're gonna let that work just a little bit. In the meantime, while we're waiting on that to render some of the fat, um, then I'm gonna come back in, we're gonna saute the vegetables. But while we're waiting on that, you know, I think we probably got enough smoke on those pears and we can start the process of the cocktail. Okay, cool. So we're gonna get started on making our smoked pear bellinis. Um, so my lovely mother here, our big green egg master is gonna help me out because I'm a newbie. Um, so here we are. The first thing we wanna do is just to make sure they look like they've been on there long enough and they got a good little tender feel to them. 
um, and we're gonna drop them in our shaker. Demo. There we go. Yep, that's perfect. Okay. okay cool. So, next up, hopefully you have a muddler. If not, any kind of spoon or anything that can just help you smash your pears and kind of grind them down will be helpful. There we go. There we go. And you're just gonna muddle and muddle and muddle and muddle. <laughs> Hopefully you have like better arm strength than I do. <laughs> and you'll be able to get it good and in there. And at this point, you should really be able to smell like the vanilla um, and the ginger and stuff just kind of coming off of those pears. All right, cool. So now that we have this kind of like a nice good consistency, we're gonna go in with our fresh rosemary. And we're just gonna get maybe about two stems or so. And we're just gonna snap it, drop it, snap it, drop it. Cool. So, it's also super important to have your syrup ready and you're just gonna pour this on top. There we go. Alrighty. And this is still just a mixture that we made earlier. There we go. Okay, cool. So we're gonna muddle in here a little bit more just so we can pick up that rosemary. So we're gonna go on ahead and do our garnish. I'm like super big on garnish. I want everything I do to be pretty. <laughs> and I feel like who doesn't wanna drink a pretty drink? So here we have so some regular edible gold glitter. You can order it off of any online pastry store, um, Amazon, anything like that and it's really just made out of sunflowers actually after you finish throwing um, your glitter in your glasses you're going to come back and you're ready to start pouring your lovely bellini up so we're going to take a strainer and just come in here and we're just going to slide our little, our little bellini mixture right in there and you might get some pieces of rosemary as well i personally like to have that in my cocktail but you don't have to do that with yours you are more than welcome to double strain it double strain it right here um and that'll help you catch any extra remnants that you might not want in there all right if you want a little bit more sweetness a little bit more flavor you can always add more and we're literally going to grab a spoon And you're just gonna mix that in. And now your little parabellini mixture should almost be turning into like this really nice metallic, just super pretty bellini cocktail. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right, time for champagne. So you can use any kind of champagne you would like, any kind of sparkling wine. Um, you're just gonna come in and literally just top it. There. And now you have your lovely, nice pear bellini cocktail. All right, let's open this baby up. So our duck looks really good. We've rendered quite a bit of the fat. I'm gonna just take it off for a minute. And then we're gonna add our onions, our tomatoes, and our red peppers. And sweat them just a little bit. So our vegetables are sauteed, they've softened. Onions just started to caramelize. We're gonna take and sprinkle some arugula on top of the Dutch baby.
sprinkle some of the onions, the tomatoes, red peppers. Mm. We're gonna try to keep the border about an inch or so. Keep that border clear. And then we're gonna to top this with some of the duck. Might as well do all that duck. <laughs> Add a few more tomatoes. Just layer this baby up. Then we're gonna add some goat cheese. Cover that up. Let it roll for about five minutes just until our goat cheese starts to melt. And then we'll be ready to serve and sip. And you have your smoked duck. Dutch baby. Super easy to serve. You just cut this thing like a pizza pie. So it's super cool. It's like a meal all in one. You've got your duck, you have your vegetables, you have your egg, and then we're gonna have the cocktail. So brunch all at one time. It's a perfect, perfect dish for the holidays or for the fall. David, are you ready for your bite? Am I ready? That's gotta be a rhetorical question. All right, let me dig in here. If it walks like a duck, looks like a duck, and swims like a duck, it's a duck. <laughs> that tastes like duck. I love the dry sweetness you get from that. Duck sausage, amazing. Thank you. Duck bacon, sorry. Duck bacon, amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So good. I love the creamy tang from that goat cheese. Mm. And the egg, you say breakfast, I say brunch, I say dinner, I say late night snack. This can be enjoyed any time of the day. Perfect. That's what I wanted to hear. And Kirsten. This cocktail, this is beautiful right Thank here. I feel you. like I gotta stick my pinky out when I'm drinking this right here. It's Oktoberfest, it's, it's a holiday. It really is. <laughs> it, mark your calendars, people, if you don't know. There these cheers to a cheers. delicious meal. Cheers, cheers to Oktoberfest. And let me take a sip. Mm. Oh boy, do I have glitter on my face, ladies? You no, do you I have good. glitter on my you face? Good. I think you I'm good. good. That smoked pear, that smoked pear is really coming out. I'm Jamaican, I love ginger. And the, the bubbles, the champagne, it's a celebration when you have champagne. Always. It really, truly is. So thank you, ladies. I don't know what you're eating, but this right here is mine. <laughs> thank you so much for that amazing demo. Thank with the you. With the food, with the cocktail. You ladies rock. Thank Elbow you. down. Thank Elbow you. down. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. And this combo right here, it's not fire. It's fire. 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 F-I-Y-A-H-H-H -fire. -H 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 <laughs> exclamation point. All of that. You ladies rocked it. Thank you. As always. Happy Oktoberfest, Happy everybody. Happy Oktoberfest. <laughs> Cheers. Salute. Salute. I'm going to take one more sip just to make sure it was <laughs> delicious, you know? Yep, still good. Still good. Amazing food, amazing cocktail. You can get this and a whole bunch more at biggreenegg.com. And make sure to come back at 2 p.m. That's Eastern Standard Time for Nick Leahy serving up something delicious. Ladies. Thank you so much. Thank cheers you. to this amazingness. Thank you. And cheers to Eggtoberfest. Happy Eggtoberfest. Happy Eggtoberfest. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Fire. Fire. <laughs> Come back, guys.